case six is a 20 year old who had precocious puberty obviously not at age 20 but uh, they did as a i guess a young uh, teenager here's some cross-sectional mr images through the level of the midbrain you have a t2 on the left a flare in the middle and uh, this looks like a pre-contrast here on the right here i've given you two more images this is a pre-contrast and a post-contrast on the right So question 6a, what is your most likely diagnosis? And 6b, what is the most common supracellular mass in children? Is it astrocytoma, hamartoma, craniopharyngioma, or germinoma? So this is a case of hypothalamic hamartoma. This is a focal malformation of dysplastic neurons and glial cells uh, in the hypothalamus. It's thought to arise from unusual neural migration uh, in utero, so in the first uh, early days of development in the first trimester. It occurs at the tuber scenarium, so this is where the hypothalamus is between the mammillary bodies and the optic chiasm. Now, the imaging appearance of these is it's going to be ISO to hyperintense to cortex on T2, ISO intense to cortex on T1, and with little or no enhancement on post contrast imaging. Now, the most common presentation is precocious puberty. But what you'll see on some tests sometimes is a uh, gelastic seizure. This was a classic USMLE question. And gelastic seizures are ones brought about uh, that bring about laughing. A crying seizure personally sounds terrifying, but uh, that can also happen as well. The treatment of these uh, is predominantly surgical resection, but you can also perform stereotactic radiosurgery. So here are the images I showed you, and you see on the T2 uh, in the basal cisterns here, there's something occupying where there should normally be only CSF. It is not suppressed on full air. And you see it's very similar to cortex in its appearance. Here you see a T1 pre-contrast, again, very similar to cortex. Now these are pre and post contrast images. And if you notice, there's actually very little difference between them, at least as far as the mass is concerned. So very little enhancement here. Uh, here's your clue that this is a post contrast image. You can see the nasal mucosa is really lighting up in addition to all these intracranial vessels. Uh, although that can be a little deceiving because you see some of the veins are a little bit right on the pre contrast, but you'll see this mass in the hypothalamus isn't really uh, enhancing at all. The most common supracellular mass in children is a craniopharyngioma, and uh, so those will typically be uh, solid and cystic masses uh, in, a, in a similar region. Uh, they tend to be a little bit closer to the cella. You'll see those. These are you know, less homogeneous than these hamartomas. The hamartoma we saw in this case, very homogeneous, non-enhancing. Uh, craniopharyngiomas will definitely have enhancement and be solid and cystic.